Switzerland, officially the Swiss Confederation, is a landlocked country located in West Central Europe. It is bordered by Italy to the south, France to the west, Germany to the north and Austria and Liechtenstein to the east. Switzerland is geographically divided among the Swiss Plateau, the Alps and the Jura. The Alps occupy the greater part of the territory, whereas most of the country's population of 9 million are concentrated on the plateau. which hosts its largest cities and economic centers, including Zurich, Geneva, and Basel. Switzerland originates from the old Swiss Confederacy established in the late Middle Ages, following a series of military successes against Austria and Burgundy. The Federal Charter of 1291 is considered the country's founding document. Swiss independence from the Holy Roman Empire was formally recognized in the Peace of Westphalia in 1648. Switzerland has maintained a policy of armed neutrality since the 16th century and has not fought an international war since 1815. It joined the United Nations only in 2002 but pursues an active foreign policy that includes frequent involvement in peacebuilding. Switzerland is the birthplace of the Red Cross and hosts the headquarters or offices of most major international institutions, including the WTO, the WHO, the ILO, FIFA, and the United Nations. It is a founding member of the European Free Trade Association, but not part of the European Union, the European Economic Area, or the Eurozone. However, it participates in the European Single Market and the Schengen Area. Switzerland is a federal republic composed of 26 cantons, with federal authorities based in Bern. Switzerland is one of the world's most developed countries, with the highest nominal wealth per adult and the eighth highest gross domestic product per capita. Switzerland ranks first in the Human Development Index since 2021 and performs highly also on several international metrics, including economic competitiveness and democratic governance. Cities such as Zurich, Geneva and Basel rank among the highest in terms of quality of life, albeit with some of the highest costs of living. The state of Switzerland took its present form with the adoption of the Swiss Federal Constitution in 1848. Switzerland's precursors established a defensive alliance in 1291, forming a loose confederation that persisted for centuries. The oldest traces of hominid existence in Switzerland date to about 150,000 years ago. The oldest known farming settlements in Switzerland, which were found at Gacklingen, date to around 5300 BC. The earliest known tribes formed the Hallstatt and Latin cultures, named after the archaeological site of Latin on the north side of Lake Neuchatel. Latin culture developed and flourished during the late Iron Age from around 450 BC, possibly influenced by Greek and Etruscan civilizations. One of the most important tribal groups was the Helvetii. Steadily harassed by Germanic tribes, in 58 BC, the Helvetii decided to abandon the Swiss plateau and migrate to Western Gallia. Julius Caesar's armies pursued and defeated them at the Battle of Bibracte, in today's eastern France, forcing the tribe to move back to its homeland. In 15 BC, Tiberius and his brother Drusus conquered the Alps, integrating them into the Roman Empire. The area occupied by the Helvetii first became part of Rome's Gallia Belgica province and then of its Germania Superior province. The eastern portion of modern Switzerland was integrated into the Roman province of Rhaetia. Sometime around the start of the Common Era, the Romans maintained a large camp called Vindenissa, now a ruin at the confluence of the Ara and Rus rivers, near the town of Windisch. The 1st and 2nd century AD was an age of prosperity on the Swiss plateau. Towns such as Aventicum, Ilia Equestris, and Augusta Rorica, 
reached a remarkable size, while hundreds of agricultural estates were established in the countryside. Around 260 AD, the fall of the Agri-Decumates territory north of the Rhine transformed today's Switzerland into a frontier land of the empire. Repeated raids by the Alamanni tribes provoked the ruin of the Roman towns and economy, forcing the population to shelter near Roman fortresses, like the Castra Morisens near Augusta Rorica. The empire built another line of defense at the north border. At the end of the 4th century, the increased Germanic pressure forced the Romans to abandon the linear defense concept. The Swiss plateau was finally open to Germanic tribes. The old Swiss Confederacy was an alliance among the valley communities of the Central Alps. The Confederacy was governed by nobles and patricians of various cantons who facilitated management of common interests and ensured peace on mountain trade routes. The Federal Charter of 1291 is considered the Confederacy's founding document, even though similar alliances likely existed decades earlier. The document was agreed among the rural communes of Uri, Schwitz, and Underwalden. By 1353, the three original cantons had joined with the cantons of Glarus and Zug and the Lucerne, Zurich and Bern city-states to form the Old Confederacy of eight states that obtained through the end of the 15th century. The expansion led to increased power and wealth for the Confederation. By 1460, the Confederates controlled most of the territory south and west of the Rhine to the Alps and the Jura Mountains, and the University of Basel was founded establishing a tradition of chemical and medical research. This increased after victories against the Habsburgs, over Charles the Bold of Burgundy during the 1470s, and the success of the Swiss mercenaries. The Swiss victory in the Swabian War against the Swabian League of Emperor Maximilian I in 1499 amounted to de facto independence within the Holy Roman Empire. In 1501, Basel and Schaffhausen joined the old Swiss Confederacy. The restoration of power to the Patriciate was only temporary. After a period of unrest with repeated violent clashes, such as the Zurapuch of 1839, Civil war broke out in 1847 when some Catholic cantons tried to set up a separate alliance. The war lasted less than a month, causing fewer than 100 casualties, most of which were through friendly fire. The Sonderbundskrieg had a significant impact on the psychology and society of Switzerland. The war convinced most Swiss of the need for unity and strength. Swiss from all strata of society, whether Catholic or Protestant, from the liberal or conservative current, realized that the cantons would profit more from merging their economic and religious interests. Thus, while the rest of Europe saw revolutionary uprisings, the Swiss drew up a constitution that provided for a federal layout, much of it inspired by the American example. This constitution provided central authority while leaving the cantons the right to self-government on local issues. Giving credit to those who favored the power of the cantons, the National Assembly was divided between an upper house and a lower house. Referendums were made mandatory for any amendments. This new constitution ended the legal power of nobility in Switzerland. Switzerland was not invaded during either of the world wars. During World War I, Switzerland was home to the revolutionary and founder of the Soviet Union Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov who remained there until 1917. Swiss neutrality was seriously questioned by the short-lived Grimm-Hoffman affair in 1917. In 1920, Switzerland joined the League of Nations, which was based in Geneva, after it was exempted from military requirements. During World War II, Detailed invasion plans were drawn up by the Germans, but Switzerland was never attacked. 
Switzerland was able to remain independent through a combination of military deterrence, concessions to Germany, and good fortune, as larger events during the war intervened. General Henri Guessin, appointed the commander-in-chief for the duration of the war ordered a general mobilization of the armed forces. The Swiss military strategy changed from static defense at the borders to organized long-term attrition and withdrawal to strong, well-stockpiled positions high in the Alps, known as the Reduit. Switzerland was an important base for espionage by both sides and often mediated communications between the Axis and Allied powers. Switzerland's trade was blockaded by both the Allies and the Axis. Economic cooperation and extension of credit to Nazi Germany varied according to the perceived likelihood of invasion and the availability of other trading partners. Concessions reached a peak after a crucial rail link through Vichy France was severed in 1942, leaving Switzerland entirely isolated from the wider world by Axis-controlled territory. Over the course of the war, Switzerland interned over 300,000 refugees aided by the International Red Cross, based in Geneva. Strict immigration and asylum policies and the financial relationships with Nazi Germany raised controversy, only at the end of the 20th century. Extending across the north and south side of the Alps in West Central Europe, Switzerland encompasses diverse landscapes and climates across its 41,285 square kilometers. Switzerland lies between latitudes 45 degrees and 48 degrees north, and longitudes 5 degrees and 11 degrees east. It contains three basic topographical areas, the Swiss Alps to the south, the Swiss Plateau or Central Plateau, and the Jura Mountains on the west. The Alps are a mountain range running across the central and south of the country, constituting about 60% of the country's area. The majority of the population live on the Swiss Plateau. The Swiss Alps host many glaciers, covering 1,063 square kilometers. From these originate the headwaters of several major rivers, such as the Rhine, in Ticino and Rhone, which flow in the four cardinal directions, spreading across Europe. The hydrographic network includes several of the largest bodies of fresh water in Central and Western Europe, among which are Lake Geneva, Lake Constance and Lake Maggior. Switzerland has more than 1,500 lakes and contains 6% of Europe's freshwater stock. Lakes and glaciers cover about 6% of the national territory. Lake Geneva is the largest lake and is shared with France. The Rhone is both the main source and outflow of Lake Geneva. Lake Constance is the second largest and, like Lake Geneva, an intermediate step by the Rhine at the border with Austria and Germany. While the Rhone flows into the Mediterranean Sea at the French Camargue region and the Rhine flows into the North Sea at Rotterdam, about 1,000 kilometers apart, both springs are only about 22 kilometers apart in the Swiss Alps. The Swiss climate is generally temperate, but can vary greatly across localities, from glacial conditions on the mountaintops to the near-Mediterranean climate at Switzerland's southern tip. Some valley areas in the southern part of Switzerland offer cold hardy palm trees. Summers tend to be warm and humid at times with periodic rainfall, ideal for pastures slash grazing. The less humid winters in the mountains may see weeks-long intervals of stable conditions. At the same time, the lower lands tend to suffer from inversion during such periods, hiding the sun. A weather phenomenon known as the Fen can occur any time and is characterized by an unexpectedly warm wind, bringing low relative humidity air to the north of the Alps during rainfall periods on the south-facing slopes. 
This works both ways across the Alps but is more efficient if blowing from the south due to the steeper step for oncoming wind. Valleys running south to north trigger the best effect. The driest conditions persist in all inner alpine valleys that receive less rain because arriving clouds lose a lot of their moisture content while crossing the mountains before reaching these areas. Large alpine areas such as Graubunden remain drier than pre-alpine areas, and as in the main valley of the Valais, wine grapes are grown there. Switzerland's many small valleys separated by high mountains often host unique ecologies. The mountainous regions themselves offer a rich range of plants not found at other altitudes. The climatic, geological, and topographical conditions of the alpine region make for a fragile ecosystem that is particularly sensitive to climate change. According to the 2014 Environmental Performance Index, Switzerland ranks first among 132 nations in safeguarding the environment due to its high scores on environmental public health, its heavy reliance on renewable sources of energy, and its level of greenhouse gas emissions. In 2020 it was ranked third out of 180 countries. The country pledged to cut GHG emissions by 50% by 2030 compared to the level of 1990 and plans to reach zero emissions by 2050.